Hello YouTube, and today I want to show y'all something that I have made out of paracord. This is the first thing that I made out of paracord before. It is a tritone bracelet. I tried to make it two-tone, but um, I used red on the uh, base, so it's a tritone. You can kind of see it, but the red pops out in the middle. This bracelet is actually too small for me, so um, I'm just going to give it to a friend. But, um, yeah, um, I will be posting a video on how to make the tritone bracelet soon. I'm trying to come off there. Um, this is not the first bracelet I've made because I started making it earlier, but. I have also started, um, well, my dad let me drive his truck in the pasture out in my grandmother's yard right there, but I don't want to take the computer out and, you know, actually, um, show you all the pasture because that'd just be a whole bunch of work and I don't really feel like getting up right now. But, um, anyways, so. Another look, my uh, red, OD green, and yellow paracord bracelet. It's pretty cool. You can wear it like that, or like that. I like it like this, because usually the lighter colors on the inside, I think it's cooler on the outside. That's what it looks like, clipped together that would be the top of your wrist right there um... anyways that's my bracelet oh and um... the release might sometimes break but it does work pretty good see pulling pretty hard right there really snapping it it won't come apart a stitch came apart. I lied. I'll just tie that off instead of putting it back into it stitched. I just take forever because it's small. I already cut it off and then melted that end. That's what it looks like now. Pretty, uh, Pretty cool for one of the first seven bracelets I've made. Um, that's the back, front, side, and the other side. I'm going to show you what it looks like on your wrist if I'm still able to get it on. I have pretty big wrists for a 12 year old. Yeah. Almost got it. Come on. There we go. That's what it looks like on your wrist. And it's um pretty cool actually. Um Actually, I'm going to make this looser by moving the knot up. See, all you got to do is pull and er, you can do it the long way and pull out the knot and make it longer or tie it off a little bit higher up on the string or paracord, whatever you want to call it. You're going to need, um, for the video though, just a little heads up, you're going to need about two five foot lengths of red and OD green and about enough paracord to wrap around your wrist twice plus an extra six inches. I'm going to show y'all how to tie it off real quick so I don't have to put that in the 
later video. What you do is you take that, see? Kind of like that guy who showed you how to make paracord stuff. That's just basically what his entire channel is paracord. And you tie it like that. This is what it'll look like while you dropped it. That's what it'll look like almost when you're done. I should have used more paracord. Um, anyways, this is what it'll look like. Sorry, I'm looking away from the camera a lot. This is my second time recording on a webcam, but uh, that's what it'll look like after you're done tying it off. You can choose between two things, um, melting those two tips together or leaving them apart. I don't really like to melt them all that much because it'll irritate your hands sometimes. But um, let's see how this wraps around my hand this time. This feels pretty good. Not too tight, not too loose, but it's just perfect. Can't wait to show my dad him, um, my cousin Austin and Austin's girlfriend just went to Home Depot to pick me up some more um, red paracord because I just ran out. They sell them in 50 foot rolls at Home Depot. Um, I know they usually come in around um, like 500 foot, but it was just 100 pound handle paracord it wouldn't hold up me because I weigh like 135 pounds but um anyways the video getting long it's like it's seven minutes and 20 seconds right now okay I'm gonna go before I start babbling okay see y'all